Once upon a time, in the realm of Buddhist teachings, a profound narrative unfolds, shedding light on the complex nature of judgment and the morality surrounding the act of lying. This Buddhist story serves as a poignant guide for those pondering the ethics of their actions, offering insights into the delicate balance between truthfulness and forgiveness. In the corridors of moral contemplation, we encounter a tale centered around a king and his cherished vase. A seemingly innocuous incident unfolds when, during the cleaning of the king's bedroom, a servant accidentally drops and shatters the prized possession. Fearing the consequences of the king's displeasure, the servant resorts to deception, hiding the broken pieces and claiming to have taken the vase for thorough cleaning. The king, unaware of the deceit, orders the servant to retrieve the vase immediately. The following day, the servant, consumed by guilt, confesses the truth to the king, acknowledging the lie and apologizing with folded hands. However, instead of forgiveness, the king, infuriated by the deception, sentences the servant to death. This incident becomes a point of discussion in the king's court, leading to a revelation about the fallibility of human nature. While the courtiers vehemently deny ever lying, one vice minister chooses honesty and admits to occasional falsehoods. Surprisingly, he advocates for the occasional necessity of lies that do not harm anyone. Unsettled by this admission, the king expels the minister from the court. Concerned for the servant's impending fate, the minister devises a plan to save him. Crafting a gold patty of rice, the minister brings it to the court, claiming it to be a gift from a monk who promised a field of gold if the patty is planted by someone who has never told a lie. The next day, as the court assembles in a field, the minister tactfully avoids planting the patty, stating that only someone who has never lied should perform the act. The courtiers, when asked, hesitate to step forward, revealing their own lapses in truthfulness. Eventually, the minister convinces the king to plant the patty, showcasing the universal nature of human fallibility. In a moment of realization, the king acknowledges the minister's wisdom, understanding that occasional lies, devoid of malicious intent, may not be crimes. The minister's intention was to highlight the human tendency to err and the importance of forgiveness. The king reinstates the minister and pardons the servant's death sentence. This Buddhist story, with its intricate layers, imparts profound lessons on the morality of actions and the significance of forgiveness. It teaches us that lying, when motivated by noble intentions, may not be inherently wrong. Rather than harsh judgment, the story encourages compassion and forgiveness, recognizing the shared humanity in making mistakes. As the melodious notes of music accompany the story's conclusion, the profound wisdom resonates. A reminder that true greatness lies not in judgment, but in showing kindness and forgiveness when others sincerely seek redemption.